Hey guys, good morning. Um, absolutely insane that uh, what is it called? That uh, that that big where's Bitcoin? That Bitcoin absolutely like demolished uh, that 60k mark. Um, you know, it hit that 60k point and then just completely ran to the upside. I think, you know, once we actually do close a, a, a bullish trigger on the reverse MACD, I think we are going to have another leg up. I would not be surprised to see brand new all time highs this weekend. And, you know, if we say consistently around this level by the end of October, you know, I'm I'm 100 percent expecting uh, 84K um, 250 days or within 250 days after October 31st. I think that would be my very first um, my first initial signal to actually look into partially taking some positions off the top. So I would start selling, you know, things like Matic, uh, you know, maybe, you know, some some doggy chain link i don't know something who something not something who something that um is essentially like that i don't want to like look into too much right or I don't want to hold if certain things have actually rallied so as of right now you haven't really seen much of a rally on alts and and you know it's it's kind of um it's kind of it, it's kind of sort of basic knowledge in crypto where you know when you when you you have certain hierarchies of of, of price movements right so you start with bitcoin after Bitcoin is done, that trickles over to Ethereum. After Ethereum is done, that trickles over to the rest of the altcoin family. Um, and, you know, we haven't really ran as much as we possibly could. And I do think altcoins have, you know, most of my holdings are in altcoins, right? Most of my holdings are going to be like in a Cardano, Polygon, Anchor, uh, you know, Shiba, Bitcoin and stuff, whatever. Um, so definitely, um, you know, definitely still holding right now. I'm not going to sell anything. Uh, when I do see signs of Bitcoin possibly showing weakness, um, then that's when I'm I'm going to be looking at um, uh, an altcoin move to the upside and then taking partial uh, partial profit out of my positions. But we'll see what happens. Things can change, you know, overnight. So who knows? But as of right now, uh, Bitcoin broke that 61K. I'm pretty sure it's going to go towards 62K relatively soon. I just saw it hit 61.8. I bought a bunch of Riot calls. I bought a bunch of uh, HUT 8 mining calls. I have a bunch of BTBT calls. Uh, unfortunately, I did sell calls on my bid farms position. I picked up like five grand or something. Um, and, I, and I sold long dated calls for those. So if bid farms does actually hit over $7.50 by like February, which I think is highly possible, um, you know, I'm, all my shares are going to get called away. And I'm basically going to not, not not take a loss because I'm still making like a 50% gain. So I would still make like 15,000 bucks from that bit F position if, I, if my shares get called away at 750, right? But still, if bit farms ends up going to like $12, I just missed out on like a $30,000 gain. So that kind of sucks. But I, I because I knew there was a possibility of, of, of crypto running, that's why I bought a whole bunch of calls on like Riot, BTB, Hub, whatever. And that's essentially what I'm holding right now just to kind of um just to kind of hedge my way to the upside dependent on you know how big bitcoin actually runs but we'll see what happens guys super crazy that we actually uh you know we're getting super close to 62k and possibly breaking all-time highs of 64k i'd say maybe by this weekend or so so you know usually the sentiment is if 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 if, if crypto is bullish going into the weekend you tend to push harder in the weekend, right? If, it, if, if crypto is bearish going into the weekend, you tend, you tend to sell a little bit harder during the weekend. So we'll see what happens after the stock market closes because after that, I do think you'll see a big influx of a bunch of, um, uh, what is it called? A bunch of, uh, damn it, um, of, a oh, son of a bitch. Um, you'll see a big influx of like a, a bunch of movement and a bunch of volume um in crypto overall so i'll see you guys later have a great day bye bye